Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting exponential algebraal equations. We have 7 power of x plus 7 power of 2x plus 7 power of 3x equals 14. We want to provide all the solutions to this problem. Here we have 7 power x and this is 7 power 2x. If this remains 7 power x, Plus, so 7 power 2x is still the same thing as 7 power x all power of 2 then plus 7 power x all power of 3 equals 14. And if I let 7 power x to be equals another letter, if I choose t, so anywhere I see 7 power x in these previous lines, I'm going to be replacing it with t. And here we have t plus, here is t squared plus t cubed equals 14. If I rearrange this, we are going to have t power of 3 plus t power of 2 plus t equals 14. And if I take 14 to this left hand side, we are going to have t power 3 plus t squared plus t minus 14 equals 0. And in the next step, we are going to look for a value that will make all this left hand side equals 0. Because we need the value of t that satisfies this equation. So looking at these constant values, we have 14 here. If we look for some factors that can go in 14 without a remainder, let's say we have 7 and uh, 2. So 7 and 2 goes in this. But if we try and substitute 7 in this, we are going to have a very big number that this one will not be equals 0. But if we try and uh, substitute for 2 in this, so it's possible that we have the accurate answer for all this to be equals 0. Let's check for 2. Replacing this with 2, we are going to have 2 power of 3 plus 2 power of 2 plus 2 minus 14 equals 0. And with this, 2 power 3, it means multiplying 2 in 3 times, 2 times 2 times 2. Then we are going to have 8 plus also 2 power 2, that is multiplying 2 in 2 times. We have 4. Then plus 2 minus 14 equals 0 8 plus 4 plus 2 so this gives us 14 minus 14 equals 0 and 14 minus 14 it's 0 equals 0 when the left hand side equals the right hand side like this it means the value that we guess which is 2 is one of the solution to t so since we have gotten the value of t, let's try and look for the other values here that also satisfy this. So if you recall from where we have t power of 3 plus t power of 2 plus t minus 14 equals 0. I want to get all the coefficient of this. The coefficient of this t cube is given as 1. Coefficient of t squared, that is 1. Coefficient of t is 1 and why we have minus 14 so the value that we assume earlier is 2 then i'm going to use this to get the other values or the other equation here we have 1 nothing starts 1 so there is nothing at the back of 1 so we are going to write this one as it is we call this method the press method so here we are going to multiply 2 with 1 2 times 1 that is 2. Then adding this together, we have 3. Again, 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6. Then 1 plus 6, that gives us 7. 2 multiplied by 7, that is 14. And minus 14 plus 14 equals 0. If this part equals to 0, which means the equation is correct, and we are going to look at these values. It's only this 1, 2, and 3 that does not equal 0. And 
this resembles a quadratic because in a quadratic equation or a quadratic factor uh, a, a quadratic expression any of the two we are going to have three times there first time second time and third time so the first time here take the highest power which is two so followed by one and followed by the constant time so using this one to form a quadratic equation we are going to have uh we are going to have t raised to power of two plus three t plus seven equals zero so let's try and solve for t in this quadratic equation solving this one quadratically coefficient of this t squared is a equals one and b equals three c equals seven apply the quadratic formula we are going to have t equals we have minus three plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 28 divided by 2 and we have t equals minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 19 divided by 2 but square root of minus 19 is a complex root which this is equals minus 3 plus or minus i root 19 divided by 2 here are other two values of t because here we have plus or minus so t can be minus 3 plus i root 19 over 2 and t can also be minus 3 minus i root 19 divided by 2 so with the first value of t that we got which is t here equals 2 but both of these are not the answer because we need to get the value of x this is just an assumption just to make this equation very simple to solve so if you now recall from where we let 7 power x equals t, checking for only the real root here, uh, we are going to have 7 power x equals anywhere we see t, replacing it with 2. But to get x, we need a value that will make this equals 2. And if it starts checking for some decimal number, so it will take our time. That's why we are going to apply the log rhythm function here. So introducing log in of log of base 7, we are going to have log 7 power x base 7 equals log 2 base 7. And this cancelled, log of the same base cancelled each other. As we are going to have x equals log 2 base 7. So here is the real root for this equation. And we can also check for the complex root. Let's see how we can verify this equation. So to check, so we have 7 power x plus 7 power 2x plus 7 power 3x equals 14. Anywhere we see x here, we are going to be replacing it with log 7, log 2 base 7. And I'll apply some manipulation here. If you have 7 power log x, so we are going to have 7 power uh, log 2 base 7 plus also this will be 7 power log 4 base 7 plus 7 power of log 8 base 7 equals 14. So they have log rhythm of this base as the same with the power. We'll be taking only these values. So then we are going to have the answer as 2 plus 4 plus 8. Then everything equals 14. The left hand side equals the right hand side. This is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Any comment, you can drop it in the box. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.